And members of the Dallas black clergy and other supporters calling for change. This all coming after allegations of insanitary and inhumane conditions inside the Henry Wade Juvenile De uh, Justice Center. And so our Ashley Moss has more on all of those complaints. It's time to protect our kids. We are not asking for Henry Wade to be turned over to the Ritz Carlton hotels. Sir? We are simply demanding an end to the neglect and squalor and callousness that the current conditions reflect. Dallas clergy members are demanding change after repeated claims of mistreatment inside the Henry Wade Juvenile Justice Center. Allegations include not being allowed to shower, unreasonable amounts of time spent in solitary confinement, and more. This is a house of horrors, and it is horrible for elected officials to look children, their families and their attorneys in the eye and to suggest that what is happening to them is now taking place. I think I'm still dealing with the humiliation of laying in my own menstrual blood. This young woman, afraid to be identified by name, was a first time offender at the center and says she's still traumatized. Being locked down like an animal. No, not worse than an animal. Animal, they get to go outside. The entire time I was here, I didn't go outside. I was here for three and a half months. Daryl Beatty, executive director and chief juvenile probation officer for the Dallas County Juvenile Department, said he walked through the detention center after the accusations, telling CBS News Texas he, quote, categorically denies that the conditions of the Dallas County Juvenile Detention Center are now or were ever inhumane, adding that the detention center is in compliance with state standards. So I want to see justice. And if we'll be out here every day if we have to. Shavonder Smith says 20 years after she spent her teen years here, little has changed. What I want to see is our kids get help. Our kids get access to emotional intelligence. Our kids get access to things other than juvenile. In Dallas, Ashley Moss, CBS News, Texas. Also, CBS News Texas reached out to various Dallas County officials, including members of the Juvenile Justice Board and the District Attorney's Office. And so the next meeting of the Juvenile Justice Board will happen later on this summer. And this is an ongoing story CBS News Texas has been covering week after week. So we'll, of course, keep you updated as we learn more.